A well-executed breakout is critical to team success. A well-executed investment plan is critical to financial success. Let me develop a plan with your goals in mind. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com. Uh, joined by Nick Foley, just arriving in Halifax. Uh, move for exclusion. Move is a cause uh, which uh, you've taken up and have been tra traveling across the country on a bicycle, arriving in Halifax today. First off, maybe Nick, tell us a little bit about the cause and, and why it's so near and dear to your heart. Well, the, the cause started uh, shortly after my daughter was born. Uh, my daughter, it's in honor of my daughter, Bryn. Uh, Move for Inclusion started when uh, shortly after I was, she was born, I had a business trip that I went to and I, and I heard some, uh, some men talking about uh, kids using deplorable language and uh, just to describe kids living with disabilities and things of that nature. And I thought that as her dad, that I had to do something. And, and so after a couple of years of contemplation on what I wanted to do or what I, what I thought I could do, um, I developed this platform, Move for Inclusion. And, uh, and for the last, uh, well, I guess this is day 77, uh, we've been on the road uh, promoting the importance of acceptance of all people. Nick, uh, from BC and your eventual goal, St. St. John's, Newfoundland, no doubt you'll, you'll reach that. But uh, an emotional day today. Here you are arriving in Halifax, which is in some ways uh, hometown. Yeah, it certainly is. It's a second home for me, um, being a proud, proud uh, graduate from St. Mary's University, proud Huskies, and uh, very, very happy to be here. It, 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 this is an official coast-to-coast -coast crossing for us. So uh, when I came into uh, uh, on the Bedford Highway, there was a real sense of nostalgia. And, uh, you know, we have many kilometers to go but uh, we're really excited about being here for a couple days and, and seeing some familiar faces and and hopefully spreading the message of inclusivity spreading the message of in inclusivity uh, tell me about the goals that you set when you when you when you left bc and and do you feel you're you're, you're getting there yeah we, we have several goals uh, our, our main our main objective is, is to spread the message um, we we've come up with uh, my, my team of people have come up with uh, uh, some wonderful um, physical literacy documents. We were handing those out to different schools across the country, and we've reached hundreds of thousands of kids in that in that capacity, which was nice. We uh, also wanted to get across the country. That was uh, one of our main goals, and and uh, raise a hundred thousand dollars for uh, some some local national charities and, and and things of that nature. So, although uh, we we have some that are still continuing to and and, and important to uh, to spread the message as well, um, and I think that we're we're well on our way to reaching all of those goals. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, it's. Uh, uh, it's there's a ways to go, but um, we're, we're spreading the message, and, and uh, people are, um, are are hearing it, and, and we're getting messages all the time of of, of uh, you know good good fellowship, and uh, along the way, it's been a real real journey, and, and uh, we hope that this will continue to spread long after this ride is over in uh, in about uh, two or three weeks, two and a half weeks. The journey itself, uh, I can't imagine some of the weather you've you've. Uh, have come through, but uh, tell me about uh, some of the physical challenges of the ride. Yeah, I mean, there's been there's been many. <laughs> um, not in my playing. I wasn't in my playing shape, but, you know, when I started this. Although I, I worked real hard to get into uh, bike shape, I guess. But when you start uh, a cross country uh, journey in in um, in British Columbia in the middle of April, you're going to get some increment weather, and uh, and so we, we definitely have faced our share of of snow and wind storms and and rain and sleet. But I mean, every time that I look at my handlebars, I have a picture of my daughter there, and it's one of those things that just continues to propel forward. And my thought process is, with with every mile that we can get underneath us, or every kilometer we can get underneath us, it's one step, one kilometer closer to a, a world that is uh, just a little bit more inclusive. And and so it's been uh, it's it's. It's been um, it's been rewarding in the sense that we were able to come overcome some obstacles. Uh, you know, long long days on the bike. Sometimes it's been 12, 13 hours, but uh, we stayed on track and and we continued to move forth. And it's the bigger picture, which that which is what kept us going. So, thanks for this, Nick, and good luck the rest of the way. I appreciate it, John. Thanks for having me.